Previously on Long Dark Interloper. If we were to find a bedroll, that would be the luckiest fucking find <laughs> ever. That would be a game changer. But who knows? Gonna avoid all of this stuff. We just need to get in there and start a fire. ASAP. Oh, fuck me. Yes, look at it. I can see it already. It's a fucking bedroll, peeps. Fuck, I can see him. Uh, do we leave? It's going to be a bit close for comfort. Did you see that? I definitely did. I don't know where he's gone though. Fuck. I hate this. What the fuck is he doing? I'm 100% sure I saw Fluffy. Now I'm shitting myself. Right, I'm not going to use a torch for this, I'm using a flare. I'm not risking it. We have 65%. We could die. And yeah, I'm going to lose a torch and a match, but fuck it. I'm not. I'm just not. <laughs> not after the last series, especially. I'm going to play this safe. I want to survive. I'm also going to crouch. I want to get past Fluffy quietly. Probably avoid checking everything upstairs as well. I'm going to be all about safety. And actually, now that I think about it, we can use this flare to get us safely to our next location. So I'm going to use speed. I'm going to waste some energy. We're changing our tactics. Let's just hope he's not in this tube. In the tube. What am I talking about? In this hallway. I think our chances are reduced of being jumped. I definitely saw him, so I believe he's still down there. And we're going to be pretty safe up here. So like I said, we're going to use this. I've got 78% on it. So I'm going to do a very, very quick sweep of this area. I'm not even going to bother with the lockers. I'm just looking for anything that's not tied down, basically. Anything we can just grab. Nothing there. Take the book. So you can say this is a waste, but on the other hand, you could say I'm just saving this for later. We will be back, but I want to come back when I'm armed. So, I'm, I'm just going to leave everything. And again, there's the flare aspect. I want to keep this, the, um, the remaining flare we have to get to... Where are we going? Let's have a think. So, I need a place to get back up to 100% condition. That's the goal. I'm not setting off, like I said, to full all musk egg until we have 100%. Um, food. We could do with more food. So, there's the wolf down there. I just saw it down in that valley. It's not that cold. It's only minus four. That's... That's incredible. Oh, now I've just remembered. We have our bedroll. And we have our rope, don't we? So we really should go and get that. We really should go and get that rope. Oh fuck! What was that? Jesus Christ, that scared the living shit out of me. God, that's why we have a flare. Right, I'm getting out of here. Let's go somewhere safe. There's a second wolf. Yeah, I'm leaving. See you later. Let's go hole up in the, uh, the cave down here. Hopefully, maybe... No, there won't be a carcass. But there will be some cattails. 
we should be warm enough. But yes, we did just get chased out of Mystery Lake. But uh, I'm not proud. Fuck it. Alright, so I'm going to try and use this flare to start the fire. And save. How many? Are, how come I've got so many matches? I don't remember picking all those up. Huh. Okay, maybe I don't need to worry so much. Maybe I should chill out. It's only minus 6 degrees. We have light. There's no risk of being hurt out here, really. And because it's not that cold, actually. Uh, we don't need that. Let's just. I'm going to concentrate on getting some. Aha! This will go towards our bow. It just got a lot colder, by the way. Interestingly, that suddenly dropped. So this is the place I always come to hunt deer. I love it. Just checking what we have. We have guts and deer hide. So I want to collect as many sticks as I can. We're going to spend the night here, so... Um, don't need any tinder. We're going to spend the night here, so we need to make sure that we have enough uh, fuel. The cattails I can leave for tomorrow morning, really. Is that a carcass? No. No, it's just some grass. They've uh, really improved the the sort of animations on the grass now that you can see the speed of the wind, I love it. So that was the uh, flare going out. So it's getting dark. It's, uh, it's quite windy as well, so let's just find this cave. Get this fire started, that'll make me more relaxed. Ah, there's a carcass up ahead, fantastic. So that's food for us. Once we uh, make it through the night, the long dark has gifted us some food. There's the cave entrance, I believe. I am fairly familiar with this area. Because I, I love to come here. So, that's the cave. I'm pretty familiar with uh, where stuff is. Not too worried about the cold. So let's just, um, let's just harvest. We can uh, craft ourselves some antiseptic bandages. I'm quite looking forward to this uh, climb down to the flare. And that flare gun is going to be... It could be a, a real lifesaver in uh, Forlorn Muskeg. I do not, as I've said, do not underestimate that region anymore. Right, so let's see. Is that something? What is that? Cedar firewood? I cannot see a thing. So, okay. It's plus six in here, that's fantastic. So let's get our let's get our fire going. I think we had a book on Yeah. Shooting guide. I'm gonna get rid of that. We do not need it. What are we gonna do with the uh, rifle skills? when there is no rifle. So yeah, anyway back to uh, my story about Bill. He was a... Uh, I wasn't feeling very sociable. I was in here playing games and then uh, my wife told me to come out and give him a hand moving something and um, ended up having this really good long chat and he gave me some advice on how to secure the garage door and he gave me the recommendation for an accountant because we're looking for an accountant too. So just goes to show sometimes even if you're not feeling very sociable it's better to kind of get over yourself and uh, go and be sociable basically <laughs> and I can be uh, I can be quite quiet sometimes so sometimes people don't know how to take that or they think I'm not very sociable Sometimes I just like quiet, you know? Just one of those people. Alright, so these reishi mushrooms. I'm cooking these up just for the extra calories, pretty much. I'll keep them in reserve. I believe we have some antibiotics. Actually, we don't. Okay, so... 
Those reishi mushrooms are potentially useful. I'm not going to waste all my fire on them though, because we really don't need that many. Um, we're not that tired. So it's really just about... I guess, I guess we're fairly safe here, to be honest. We're not that tired. So there is stuff I can do. I'm going to throw some more wood on. I'm going to throw all of it. Oops. Oof. Glad they gave me that warning. Alright, I'm just going to eat just a couple of cattails to stop my condition falling any further. I'm going to save the uh, venison bef for before we sleep. I have learned, for those of you who've been uh, watching me for a while, you told me that I should be taking longer sleeps and now I do exactly that, so thank you. Alright, I want to go get some more fuel before I do anything else really. Let's just drop the rope here. Drop some heavy stuff. In the I don't know for sure if that makes you more uh, efficient, quicker. I mean, I could even come out here and just harvest this uh, harvest this carcass. It's tempting. It's really not that cold. So we have. We have a, an opportunity here. So if I harvest that and cook it up, alright, I'll waste some fire. Actually, what am I talking about? I can harvest it here. Do you know what? I'm thinking back to my other game, my personal game, the one I started, I was telling you about earlier. I was thinking back to that. Because in that one I hadn't found the uh, the hacksaw yet. I was getting confused. So let's cook this up. I'm going to save this also for when we sleep. But I just want to really use this fire. I will probably risk sleeping through the night without the fire. That has made me nervous previously. I don't like to do it. I will do it, but I don't like to. But, on the other hand, at this early stage of uh, interloper, it's not too disgustingly brutal yet. Not yet, anyway. Looks like there's a storm. Maybe. Maybe not. Coming in. I'll do these one at a time. Just to stop us getting too cold. And, um... Ah, okay. Time to go inside. There she is. There's the storm. So I was just going to say that I need to remember to uh, drop the guts and the pelt and the other stuff to cure. I'll, I'm going to put all my fuel on here and I'm going to sleep the storm out. I'm not going to risk it. Meaning that I'm not going to try and save on my uh, my fuel at this stage. I'm interested in getting my condition up to 100% and getting a flare and staying safe. That's what I want to do. So there's the 11 hours on the on the fire. Let's eat. So it's, I'm going to consume all of this, and we always eat the meat first because it's the heaviest per calorie. Make sure we drink so we don't dehydrate when we sleep and I'm going to go for the full 10 hours. We'll wake up fully rested before the end of it, I believe. But let's see how much condition we're at, we get. We're at 64% right now. Let's have a look. We should sleep the storm out. There we go. And we're at 78%. Not too shabby. Still 5 hours in the fire. I'm going to go out and harvest the rest of that carcass and then I'm going to nip back to the fire and keep on taking naps until the sun's out and it's warmer. The other thing I could do is go and put that... Yeah, 
I was going to say I could put the um, put the rope on, but that will be a waste. It's too cold. I'm going to take damage. Oh shit! Just a little bit. It's, it's colder than I uh, colder than I thought. We took one percent, so it's not that bad. But those guts are critical to us. Feel my feet. The deer hide really doesn't matter that much, I believe. I'm gonna sleep another hour. Crap. All right, we just need to warm up. Um, let's use one of our drinks. So let's, uh, let's cook up a reishi. Do you know what? I should have had one of the herbal teas before I slept. I didn't even think about it. It's, it's something I never use. So, tell me if I'm making a mistake there. I just I just forget. All right, so nice and warm. I think that if we harvest, yeah, if we harvest the uh, the deer hide, we'll get too cold and we'll take a condition hit. So let's see. Just trying to kill a bit of time here. Alright, we've still got four hours. Alright, I'm just going to do some basic maintenance. This is the point where I always think that people are going to abandon watching this because it's going to become less interesting, but some of you guys do seem to like to watch it. So let's, let's keep it all in. So now I'm thinking ahead to the climb. We absolutely 100% have to make sure that we have enough energy to get down and back up. Because we're just going down for the flare gun and that's it. And it seems pretty cold. So I'm going to repair all my clothes first. Um, starvation really doesn't matter, it's just all about the energy, stamina. So I'll make sure I'm really well rested. I'm going to take uh, fuel, I'm going to take the bedroll, just in case. You never know. Where can I find something to eat? Okay. And these are these running shoes. I don't care about. I want some better shoes before I uh, change anything. So we don't have that much fuel left. I should collect some sticks before I head down there. We're nice and low in weight. We're only 19 kilos. So the campfire. Sleep just a little more. May as well. Try and get the, the conditions as good as we can. So hopefully it will be warm enough. Eight hours of daylight left. That's just about perfect. We've used our fire. Okay, let's go. Leave the heavy hammer there. Leave that stuff curing as well. So we're only at twenty, just under twenty-five kilos, and we're going to lose five kilos with the rope. Uh, now I'm wondering: do we take the rope with us after we're done, or do we not? I'm not sure. I don't really think there's anywhere else we can use the rope. That is, I mean, let me explain that. There are other places I know of where you can put the rope, but not where you need the rope. Apart from Timberwolf Mountain, and we're not going to go there yet. So, on the other hand, we did get this from Timberwolf Mountain, didn't we? So, maybe we'll need it to get up the mountain and especially efficiently back down again. I don't know. I guess we take it until we're too heavy, and then that's the first thing we drop. That's probably the smart play. Right, so we've got to find where the place is. I have not done this climb for a very, very, very long time, so I'm really going to have to find it. It's a, it's a flat zero degrees in wind cover, 
minus 8 in the wind so it's actually conditions aren't bad that wind could go either way, it could become uh, a storm or it could clear up it's becoming more and more cloudy so that's not good there's another carcass up here so we have an opportunity to get more food it's just, I want to make sure we get all of these just in case there is that storm and we get stuck down there we're going to need as much fuel as we can muster not bothered about that so here we go so it's minus 8, this takes a little time but not too long we're going straight down I'm racing the uh, racing the clock here this is, for me, this is really just about the uh, the flare gun. There is, I remember now, I haven't been down here for ages, as I said. Um, there is a cave down here. So, maybe it is worth exploring. And that, going back up, is one hell of a climb. It's a bitch of a climb. So, you see how long that was? That was insane. So we're really going to need all the energy we can get. So I reckon I'm going to head to the cave. I'm going to um, empty this area. We do have our bedroll, don't we? Yep. Fuel. So really, just got to make sure we get enough fuel. Just in case there is another storm and we're stuck in the cave. So, again, I've changed my plans now. I'm not trying to rush back up anymore. I want to see what I can get from this little region. I know it's safe. So, finally, here we go. One, two, three, four. And the first one we reload. So, we have one shot plus three. Good. We are... Oh, good. Emergency stim just if we need it and cheeky little gun guns guns completely useless to us so we'll just burn that but no that's uh, that's great that's a big step forward for us very good we're still really well rested so it's really all about the weather now the weather stays kind We can uh, can head straight back up. We'll see. And I know there's no danger down here. There are no wolves. There's no bears. So I'm feeling pretty chilled. I do remember this area, especially the cave down here, because I just remember thinking that they've designed it very well. This is it. They make it. They make you work to visit this spot, but they reward you for it. So there you go, there's a carcass, there's lots of cattails, you have a cave. You know, so we, we've just been very well rewarded for our effort. And that is brilliant game design to me. I think that's just fantastic. You as the gamer, you've had your challenge, you've overcome that challenge, you've got your satisfaction, you get your reward. That's That's, that's a good game. That's an enjoyable game, I believe. Yeah. Which makes me wonder, you guys, tell me what your favourite game of all time was. And this will tell me something about who you are as well, because it will kind of tell me your age, you know. If it's uh, something like Super Metroid, then I know you're an old gamer. Or even uh, Populous. That's going back a long time. Or a game that I still play today. Colonization. Sid Meier's Colonization. That's probably the oldest game I've got and I still play it. I actually re-bought it on Steam because I love it that much. It's a, If you've never played it, it's, a, it's an economic str strategy. And it's one of the few uh, strategy games that does uh, trading 
well. And I really enjoy it. So, yeah, I was playing that last night actually. So there's our carcass. I really want to get its guts, but we're very close to freezing. I think we use a match. It's too windy to start a fire outside. So we're going to follow exactly the same tactic as we did above. Um, we're going to start a fire in here. This is actually warm enough. We can't. Can we break it down? No, fuck. I really want the f to see if there's... Ah, I should have checked. Let's see how much food there is on that thing first. So we're, we're kind of... Okay, we've got 16 cattails. And some drinks. So that... that harvesting this carcass isn't really an option. It's a must. And uh, the ones above also. So, ooh, two and a half kilos. That's a, a good reward. So, I can't cut it up yet. I'm too cold. So let's get that fire started. And we're going to cook this, this boy up. Maybe we take a, a wee nap as well. Taking a nap would just save the game. Oh. I was just going to say I want to... Uh, I want to uh, burn that shooting guide we just got. Make sure I don't burn something else by mistake. Huh. Just looking at a hinterland tweet, there's a someone who's tweeted a picture of a, a snow-covered sort of train going over a bridge and they just said this reminds me so much of the lawn park. Pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to stick a ton of sticks on. I'm trying to get the temperature up so we warm up nice and quickly. We're starving, so we have a double reason to uh, cook up some reishi mushrooms. That'll help us warm up and get some calories inside us. Also, rehydrate us, so triple benefit to doing that. Let's have a look. So we're warming up nice and quickly. I can afford to stick some more fuel on here. I'll save the book. We can use that book to uh, start another fire. Again, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cut these episodes. I, I, I really like the cliffhangers, but we've not had one for a while, so... Um, yeah, we'll see. I have no idea. I really want to save the game, but I don't want to sleep an hour just yet. Want to harvest and eat. Six hours of daylight left, so we're still okay. I'm going to get all of this. Don't really care how long it takes. Oh, it's only zero degrees. I think my stomach is eating it. It's actually plus. That's amazing. All right, let's cook this up first. Let's make the most of that fire we built, the fuel we built, uh, the fuel we got, fuel we've already used. Five hours of daylight left, so if I if I spend an hour harvesting that hide and an hour taking the guts, we're going to have a problem. So I'm just going to take the guts. I'm going to take the guts because they're critical at this point. I don't want to spend the night down here unless I have to. I want to at least get back up. So. We've used our campfire. Uh, I'll take the guts, I'll come back in to warm up, and then we're going to head straight back up again, up the rope. And then we'll be really exhausted by then and we sleep uh, up the top. That's the plan. Let's see what happens. We're not getting cold that quickly, actually. And it just got even warmer. So, let's go. Screw the fire. We're leaving. We're we're winded, but not too tired. It is. It really is a long climb, and you really don't want to get halfway and have to take a nap. <laughs> I've done that before on the Timberwolf Mountain. That's a hell of a climb. Fuck. 
so I'm just a little worried that we're going to run out of uh, energy before we get to the top. Um, that would suck. That would that would mean we have to come back down. We have to spend the night here. We waste time, and there are no more resources down here either. So not ideal. But fuck, is that a hell of a climb? Jesus, look at it. It's a beast. Right, oh, here goes. Let's see how we do. So, watching my stamina on the right, we have to reach a ledge, obviously. And I think that's one on the left. There's one definitely up and on the right. But I think there's one on the left. Um, I prefer to get up to this one. I was slowing down though. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, 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 is he gonna make it? Oh, fuck. Can I reach? No. Come on. Oh. Just saw it. I just saw it. Where is it? There. Oh, fuck. Oh, we made it. Wow. I really didn't think we wouldn't. I really thought we wouldn't. Okay. Really tired. Drained. It's three degrees. I am going to go for it. It's the only way. You have no coffee, no nothing. If you want some stamina, you sleep. That's what you would do. You wouldn't hesitate. You take the opportunity. You get your energy up. And you go for it. Oh, f what the fuck? I fell a bit. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck was that? I've never had that happen to me before. That was nuts. Alright, I'm just going to have a wee snack. Again, let's replicate what real life would be like. If you were really tired, you'd uh, think about dropping some stuff too, but we're not quite there yet. We're too... you see, our stuff is heavy. We're very drained, but it's not that far, so let's just see. Right, we didn't slip that time. We're going a lot slower than we did. Fuck, we really need to make this. Sorry. Shit, we can't climb anymore. Fuck, I've been in this situation before. I don't remember if I made it or not. I don't think we're gonna. 